working through the rain area more than likely shortly and also Crowley and then some very heavy rainfall across Lafayette Parish is raining hard here at the station and we're also seeing some of that heavy rainfall working its way on the north side of town up through Karen Crow as well. So another inch or two of rain, certainly a possibility by any stretch of the imagination and more as we get into northern portions of Upper St. Martin Parish, primarily southeastern St. Landry Parish, mainly east of Opelousas through Crot Springs, but more heavy rainfall here over the next several hours and we continue to see activity more scattered in nature after getting hammered with several inches of rain earlier today. Uh, area wide, most of us picking up two to three inches of rain, isolated amounts up to four and there's going to be another one to two possible. So that's why we have that flood watch continuing. I don't see anything on the storm tracking that warrants us to be too concerned. More of the stronger rotating storms into Mississippi, maybe some hail in some of these cells uh, off to the east, but I don't think we're going to see any more of a severe weather threat. Lots of flood warnings going. Flood warnings, Baton Rouge on eastward, aerial flood warnings. This one uh, misspelling, but still nonetheless, the Vermilion at 11.6, just checked at 11.7 rising. We think it crested about 12.5. We'll watch the rainfall that we're seeing right now. That's going to add uh, to the misery, but I don't think we're going to see any flooding related to the Vermilion, although the Weather Service does have it cresting at 14 feet. And I think we need to see another three to four inches of rain to get up to that point. We might see that though. And then flood warnings for all the area bayous and rivers across western and southwestern Louisiana. Here's the flash flood watch per the National Weather Service overnight tonight. One to three possible over the next several hours. Maybe isolated amounts up to four or five. Uh, we'll just have to watch and see how that goes. Damage reports today. Numerous reports of wind damage across portions of Acadia. A lot of tree branches down. Some trees down. Floods here. These are the flood symbols up by Eunice and also here over in Jeff Davis Parish and you have one in Lafayette. We had high water here too as well and some sporadic wind damage and power outages across the area, but we were not alone. Look at the rest of the state going back into Texas. So this has been a pretty busy weather system producing uh, severe weather not only locally, but uh, in adjacent states as well. So let's look at the predictive radar pretty much on track with uh, what we're seeing right now. Rain and storms, they gradually diminish uh, early this evening to more scattered in nature. This is the latest run of predictive radar, which is a little bit different than what we saw earlier. And then the model is trying to concentrate the heavier rains over eastern Louisiana, and that seems to be a pretty good idea. I think that's where we're going to see some uh, the greatest risk of flooding through this evening. By two o'clock in the morning, things begin to quiet down. Notice this latest model run has Lafayette just an additional quarter inch after uh, this time period, which is starting a half hour from now. And then hopefully some sunshine as we go into tomorrow morning. Latest predictive radar rain totals of very light to the north and west, much heavier to the east, but I think we might see a one to two inch uh, rainfall stripes just based on the radar that we're seeing right now. So this is not, not necessarily the best run of predictive radar. By the way, that updates once an hour and it updates once an hour on KTC.com. So you can always track it there as well. So here we are. Things beginning to wind down. First thing tomorrow morning, temperatures getting down into the 50s, uh, partly to mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. It's going to be a pretty nice day. Get out and enjoy the sun because this may be the last sun you see for this year. And we can safely say that since New Year is coming in just a few days. But the bottom line, clouds coming back Saturday. They say Sunday, rain and a few embedded thunderstorms back in the forecast Saturday. And it stays unsettled going into Sunday as well. Scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two more as we head into Monday. Front moving on through on Monday. Drier air coming in temporarily for uh, New Year's Day. But then another impulse comes in. More rain on the way and it's going to be chilly rains with temperatures in the 40s and then finally we clear out and then we chill out as we go in the latter part of the week and temperatures by Friday morning.